As alpha is a root of this equation, we know that alpha cubed add alpha squared add alpha add 1 equals 0. Also, we know that x to the 4 minus 1 generally equals x cubed add x squared add x add 1 times x minus 1. Therefore, any root of this, i.e. alpha, is also a root of this, which means that alpha to the 4 equals 1. Looking at the first few terms of this, we have alpha to the 1000 is equal to alpha to the 4 to the 250, which equals 1, as alpha to the 4 is equal to 1. Alpha to the 999 is equal to alpha to the 4 to the power of 249 times alpha cubed, which is alpha cubed. Alpha to the 998 is equal to alpha to the 4 to the 249 times alpha squared, which is alpha squared. Alpha to the 997 is equal to alpha to the 4 to the 249 times alpha, which equals alpha. Now we know that 1 add alpha add alpha add alpha cubed is 0, therefore alpha to the 1000 add alpha 999 add alpha 998 add alpha to the 997 is also 0. Therefore we can group all of these terms in groups of 4 which equals 0, except for alpha to the 0, which is the final one, which equals 1 as anything to the power of 0 is 1, therefore the sum of the whole thing is 1. Answer B.